Hello and welcome. My name is Jonah Bishop and I wrote the book Money on the Mat, the karmically sound path to paid tarot professional. I have a big list of guided path workings on YouTube to help you learn your tarot cards in an easy and relaxing manner. I'll keep uploading them until the entire deck is there for you. Today I want to talk about an open secret, that tarot has long been used as a form of covert communication among occultists worldwide. Tarot is the language we use to overcome barriers in all other languages. It is the universal key to human thought, after all. This is part one of a two-part series. Make sure you subscribe for part two. The practice of using tarot cards as a covert form of communication among secret societies, occultists, and practitioners of esoteric arts is a fascinating and lesser-known aspect of tarot history. Throughout history, secret societies and clandestine groups have sought various means of communication to share hidden knowledge, encrypted messages, and mystical insights. Tarot cards, with their rich symbolism and esoteric associations, became a unique tool for this purpose. The use of tarot cards as a form of covert communication can be traced back to the Renaissance and Enlightenment periods when interest in the occult and esoteric knowledge surged. Secret societies, such as the Freemasons, Rosicrucians, and various Hermetic orders, thrived during this time, drawing from ancient mystical traditions and seeking a deeper understanding of the mysteries of the universe. Tarot cards, with their origins in the Italian tarocchi decks used for playing games, held a symbolic language that resonated with the esoteric pursuits of these secret societies. The tarot's archetypal images and allegorical representations offered a rich canvas upon which hidden messages could be concealed and transmitted among the initiated. One method of using tarot cards for covert communication involved encoding messages within the arrangement of the cards during a tarot reading. By arranging specific cards in a particular order or position, practitioners could convey secret information or instructions to their intended recipients. The use of certain symbols or patterns in the card layout served as cues for those familiar with the encoded system. For example, a secret society member seeking guidance or instructions might request a tarot reading from a fellow member who, skilled in the art of tarot, would arrange the cards in a predetermined pattern that conveyed the hidden message. To the untrained eye, the reading would appear to be a typical divination session, but to the initiated, it would be a powerful means of sharing confidential knowledge. Another method involved the use of specific tarot decks designed exclusively for communication within secret societies. These decks featured unique symbolism and esoteric correspondences that were understood only by members of the group. Each card held hidden meanings and interpretations that went beyond the conventional divinatory use of tarot. In addition to encoding messages within the card arrangements, certain tarot cards themselves served as symbols or keys to unlock hidden knowledge or initiate individuals into secret societies. These cipher cards held significant importance and were often placed at specific positions in tarot spreads to guide the initiated in decoding the message. That's all for now. Make sure you subscribe to hear part two. Until next time, be well, my friend.